Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the 13th episode of my Victoria 2 Let's Play as Sweden. Uh, we are once again uh, not, at, not, at war, not at war anymore with Russia, which was really horrible in the last episode if you guys got the chance to watch that. And if you didn't, I would suggest that you do because it was really, like, horrible. And if you guys want to see me, like, almost cry because Russia was beating up on me, that's... That would be pretty cool for you then. But uh, in this episode, I want to just, you know, further ourselves and get ourselves in a position that we're going to be able to just dominate with machine guns. Now, I think machine guns are able to be researched right now, so we need to switch. It's only March, so we, hopefully we're not too far behind. But um, we should be able to get machine guns very quickly, and once we get machine guns, we're going to start ourselves on colonizing in Africa. Colonizing in Africa is like... 50% of the game in this episode, in this game, so it's very, very important, and I, uh, I highly encourage you, if you are playing this game yourself, to look at you know, colonizing Africa, because, look, I mean, look at how much land there is here. These uh, these small provinces, I mean, they may not look like much, but um, if you see, they have quite a bit of population. Uh, they, well, I mean, 2,000 is not a lot, I guess, but uh, if you take all of this, I mean, that's still a lot of population. Like, look at this area right here. Uh, the Congo has uh, 39,000, 30,000, and they're all Mongo, or African Minor. They're all these little things. If you And if you get all this, like, that's a lot of population, as you saw in my United States Let's Play. We have, like, a gazillion population because we had all these colonies and such. Oh, cool. We got some less mobilization impact. Awesome. That's good. We looks like we have some more room for military, perhaps in Africa? No. Um, I guess we'll just uh, grab these two guards. We can afford what's not in the stockpile. Uh, let's see if we got any projects. We need to definitely invest in expanding paper mills. That sounds great. Now, what I'm really worried about here is that we're not going to have enough naval power. And by that, I mean... Our naval power is basically what governs how much colonial power we have right now, so I don't, I don't know exactly. I would really like to be able to get the colonial province to become an actual thing, not a... But we need so many more colonial points. How could you ever get that many colonial power points? Is there a way that we can look at see what other people have in way of colonial power points? I wish that they would show us somewhere. Colonial power, come on, give it that. Really? It seriously has nothing? That's horrible. Oh well. It's good for us, we're still making bank up here in Scandinavia. Um, forces are moving together, good for them. Uh, we're not making as much money as we were though, I'm wondering why. Is that... It's because we're, we're spending a lot to make those units. Okay, I'll accept that. Don't does that? I understand why. Uh, we'll invest in these things as well. How's our unemployment doing? We we don't have much. This is mostly in Gotland, and I believe we're expanding. We could expand this factory here to help, but I I don't want to do that just because it seems as though it's a little uh, frigidy, flippity floppity. Let me see, we have a lot of factories in Saveland, this machine parts factory. It's I've seen it do amazing, and then I've also seen it do terrible. So, like for instance, you see it uh, makes 40, but we're making, we're losing a lot sometimes. And that's really what governs how much money we make. Besides, of course, producing units, we have to worry about what we're actually like spending on our own factories, which is horrible. Sweet, we're up to 34 out of our... 34 military that he could possibly have, which is like exactly what you want. Uh, machine guns should finish up soon, and then we'll, like I said, we got to start doing Africa. Um, Holstein is now, I believe, full on influence points. So what we're going to do is we're going to discredit the crap out of Prussia, make them like wish they were somewhere else. Is Holstein not in our sphere? Do we seriously? Maybe we got usurped by. Um... I was. I could have sworn. It was in our sphere. Okay. Holstein is back in our sphere. Did we get a message here? No. Very, very strange. Oh well. Let's move along. Um, yeah. So. Good. Machine guns is going to be done. Let's see. We're going to be done on the 15th of April, 1871. That's not so long. I mean, it's actually very long for a thing, but should be fine. Looks like 
they're fighting Algeria, so UK is actually going to take over Algeria. Might have been a good idea for us to do that. Oh well, what can you do? Excellent mechanized mining. I wish Egypt was a little smaller. We could just take them over at once. Wow. Damn, damn you British has such a good uh, amount of amount of footholds in Africa. But what, what do they want? All right, minimum wage. It looks like is what they really want mostly in my country. So I'm inclined to give it to them. Um, trinket health cares? No. Okay, just checking to make sure that's what they wanted. Let's do that. Back to minute. Okay, we've got minimum wage now. So good. We've got some more min uh, immigrant attraction. That's good, you know. I mean, the more immigrants that come to our country, the more people we're going to be able to tax. And hopefully our factories should be doing enough that doing well enough that we're not going to have to pay all their wages for them. See, good. The machine parts factory, sometimes it's doing great, sometimes it's not. It's just a very fickle business, I'm assuming. However, our expenses are still really... What's so expensive here? Is it really? I I don't not like. I just don't see how that adds up. But let's just lose some militancy, honestly, because I, I don't think really having fish in their stockpile helps too much. So how much colonial power does it take? Colonial. It doesn't say. It won't even tell us how close. Unable to colonize, because we have not gotten breech-loaded rifles. Uh, we haven't gotten a colonial negotiation yet. Uh, I guess, like, funnily, funny enough, uh, is that you, for to get, uh, to be able to colonize areas, you need to have colonial negotiations, and you get that from having machine guns. So I'm assuming that that's like some sort of nefarious negotiations that you're going on there with your machine guns. But um, yeah. I wonder how how long does the Nile actually go into Africa? Like, why is it so hard to find the source? I guess it's because you got to look all the way down in here. I'm, I'm assuming Lake Victoria. That's a. I guess that's where the Nile starts. Huh. Too bad they don't have this cool map that we have access to. Oh no! Come on, seriously. An international crisis. Greece wants to acquire East Macedonia from the Ottoman Empire. Now I'm just gonna wait wait it out a little bit. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm definitely not gonna help the the Ottomans here. Um, France has decided to bet Greece, okay, let's just go with, um, hmm, crisis averted. Sweet, okay, good, I hope we didn't lose any prestige or anything. I think we were at 300, so no harm, no foul. Who's the next power? It's this, um, France at 670, so we're gonna have to, are they still at war, seriously? The Russians are still at war with the Austrians. Wow. They must be really slugging it out. Good for them, they slug it out and then I'll, uh, I'll go colonize everywhere. <laughs> I wish I could, um, I wish we had more colonial power, but I think we need, perhaps needed more naval base technology and I'm, I'm sorry if that's what happened, but you know, I guess that's what happened. I mean, we can always, we're gonna start construction on that immediately as soon as once we get machine guns we're gonna go back to navy here navy and get these uh battleship column doctrine things like that to give us more naval base levels because i believe that's mostly what it's from yeah from like every naval base level you get gives you just more i think only port it doesn't show you what it does oh there it goes colonial range increases and you get some naval supply Oh, so it's only naval supply? What is what is colonial power? From improved technology, yeah, and then available. Where does this, this availability come from? I thought it was quite weird that we got it only from navy, navy. Perhaps it's just your country as a whole? I have no clue exactly how that's supposed to work, but... That's fine. Let's see here. Um, is there anything? No, there's nothing really important that we're missing right now. So I, I guess we can just continue on here at three speed. Um, I would rather we had. This is a pretty big army that we actually made here. 
yeah, that's pretty balanced too, I guess. It needs maybe a little bit more artillery and stuff, but still, I mean, we got the backbone of infantry, definitely. We don't have to worry about that being low. Um, machine guns, there we go. Now, I'm wondering about on our budget, what is this um, cap at 30 for? Does it, it won't tell us, will it? It might be just our nation has that naturally. So it's only 6,000 research points. Um, let's see how fast we do it. Uh, we're going to finish it by September of this year, so that's not going to be an issue, guys. Um, so machine guns has been researched. Let's actually see how much, how many other people have researched machine guns. Um, this is what we need is colonial. So we have, we have invented machine guns. Any great powers? No, nobody has it and no neighbor countries has it. So that's good. We have 25% chance every month or day, day, every month to invent that. So at the end of the month, we have a pretty good chance at actually getting it. We could have also done economic responsibility and naval logistics to get it. So naval logistics is up here. It's the same tier, I believe, as yeah. So it's not weird. We didn't really miss out too much. Now, I'm really happy that we're getting so much income per day just because and we have our all of our sliders maxed, except for our army, which obviously does not need to be maxed right now. So, that's good. What bothers me, though, is that if we do max it, it's going to be way too expensive for us to handle, especially with these fluctuating subsidies. But, hopefully, as we move along, our economy will become more stable once it's based on more than just a few factories, when we have, like, fa like a bunch of factories. Mechanized mining. Oh, this is awesome. This, this is really good stuff that we were, we're getting here. Um... Blood and iron mine. Ah, awesome. That's good. I don't even care. Militancy. Blah. What's the militancy here? Six? Nah. Who cares? We're doing so well. Alright. Good. So we're going to move along here. And uh, who gives a hoot? All population in Fez. Where's Fez? Is that, um, that's probably the Morocco's capital. So, is that Fez? No, that's Niffy. Their beliefs must be respected. I think we should just get the militancy. Now, where's Fez? It's, I'm assuming Fez is right. There it is. Now, they're really high trying to get us to fight them, I guess. Um, we're up to 42,000, so let's see. Do we have any good projects to invest in? I'm going to invest in everything here because I can, you know, afford it. Kaboom! Nitroglycerin. Good. All right, now that we have all this money, um, let's go ahead and build some ships because, as we've found out, we can have as many ships as we want. It's just we don't, we don't even have to pay for them. So let's build all these commerce raiders, and then we'll build all these transports as well. We just have to be able to pay for them. We don't have to pay for them, you know, all the time to maintain them, which is awesome. So we can just have them be there for no like, for just our own military power, you know. Anyway, um. We don't want... what's our... We're, we're for protectionism, so let's get our guys in favor of protectionism. One of the two options will happen. What? No, 20% more in favor of protectionism. There we go. I've never seen that before. That's that's a weird event. Honestly, I think elections are one of the most annoying things in Victoria 2, but that that's just me. I'm sure some people enjoy it. There we go. That's Look at that, guys. We're building all these ships, and it's like not even hurting us too bad. We're still making money. I think, oh, we got up to 3, 300 uh, pounds from our poor. Good. And that means they're all employed, hopefully, or a lot of them are employed at least. Now we do. We want to be way in favor of protectionism, so let's raise the tariffs. I mean, obviously, that doesn't really raise the tariffs. We're just giving arguments in favor of raising tariffs. Now, what are these uh, young German Empire brigades? Hmm. You know, it's, that's hilarious. I can't believe if somebody commented, they're like, Oh, you actually, you're, um, to form the German Empire, Prussia needs that province that I have. So that's awesome that we're, they're, that we're halting them from doing that. I just feel so cool because we're doing that. Anyway, we want to be more in favor of interventionalism, so... There we go. At least we want our populace to be. So let's see, what's our, um, we got some more projects here. We'll invest our, we'll invest all of these canned food. Sounds like a good idea to me. We can definitely afford to now. I can't. It's been so long since we can afford to anything. Um, honestly, I have nothing better to do. Oh, these are reading the classics. Certainly, we'll gain some liberal. We love liberal. 
I love my liberal party. Come on, we needed to have lots of liberal and conservative to bust out the socialists. September, we've finished that. Now, now we can go around and upgrade our naval base. That's what we're probably going to be doing with our money, is upgrading our naval bases. And since it takes a lot of timber, that'll actually hopefully help us. Can we upgrade our naval base? Why not? Do we not have enough money? Oh wow, we already spent all our money on upgrading two of them? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to argue, but... Alright, so uh, war is a fundamental... No. Uh, we want to be in favor of pro-military, definitely. Now, we need this much to expand the railroad here? Let's do it. I mean, why the hell not? So we got our improvements going along. Fantastic. Good. Uh, we've got some projects going on here still. All these railroads can probably use our investment. Um, I swear to God, if we took out a loan, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, thank God. Okay. We did not take out a loan, guys. Don't worry. We're losing money for some reason. What the heck is happening here? Um, why is this so much for right now? I guess we're spending a lot on construction. Okay. I'll handle it. That's handleable. Let's go ahead and get some 20% more in protectionism. Because that's what all the parties that we like favor. And let's back up to three speed. There you go. I knew it was just a momentary thing, but, um, excuse me, I gotta scratch my leg. Um, I knew that was just a momentary thing, so that's nice. Our machine parts factory. Like I said, it goes, it does amazing at some times and terrible at other times. Monitors, cool. Um, we want them to be in favor of residency. Because usually we're, we want to be Summa Poly or Holger Plot, or what the two um, the two things we like. So let's do residency, try to get them in favor of that. We're making a lot of money, thank god. We're finally making money in this game, guys. I, I know it took me like, uh, probably like 60 years to learn how to make money in this game, but I promise I know I'm, I know what I'm doing now. 50% um, more sources or 20%? Oh god. Extra, extra, grand strike in Stockholm. Workers demand higher wages, extra extra, grand strike in a socialist newspaper called named Forward has been published in Stockholm. It reports about various strikes, current news about socialist movements, and in politics both close to home and abroad. I and say there is no leftist bias in the media. Pfft. Uh, interesting, I am sure. Uh, I definitely want them to not be socialists, so let's go for 20% only. I'd really rather not have socialists. Um, yes, we want to be protectionist. Excellent, commercial retailers. Fantastic. Yes, that's going to be giving us some money. Cool. Alright. Can we build any more navy? I thought they said we could build monitors now. Is that what this is? No. Monitors over here. Why can't we... Oh, we need a... Lay... That's why, because we were... We need our naval port to be three level 3 or higher. Why is it taking so long to build? 1874. God, three years to upgrade the stupid thing? Dumb. Alright, pro-military. Although I would prefer some jingoists. Oh, we get 300% mobilization for... Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we can multi we can mobilize 144,000 men. That's nice. All right, so um, fielded 36. Okay, good. And we definitely need some more ships, so those will be coming soon, hopefully. Have we discovered the um the machine gun or the breech loaded thing? Yes, we did. I don't know why I'm I'm so dumb, guys. Please hate, kill me. Um, why have I not started colonizing yet? Um, 80 colonial power. What? So what do we want to take? 3k or Alright. Send expedition. Oh, it's the other way? Okay. I sort of get it now, I guess. Now, what does this cost? Alright, so let's, um, let's do this one as well. Now, what is going to help us to do this? Now, we can probably send in, let's dispose, let's split up our troops here. What would what kind of moron would balance the army that way? That's such a dumb thing to do. Look at that. Ooh, two artillery over here. 
Let's put one infantry and one cavalry. How about that? That makes more sense, huh? Um, anyway, let's send these guys over here and these guys down here. Now hopefully that supply limit will support them, and if it doesn't, we'll just pull off as many units as we need to until it does. Now, expedition by 1072. I don't know why I paused, I'm dumb. But um, if nobody competes with your expedition, okay, we should be good. Now we're losing 2% per day, so we need to balance off some of these. Why does it do that? Let's send, let's send our artillery home. Because we probably don't need them. I just want to. I just want to make sure that we have our men not die. So hopefully, once they get home, it'll, this little skull will go away, and we all have no more attrition. Good. That's that. That did happen. All right. So where's our um? Where's the other army that was going over there? Uh, these guys here. Oh, good. They're not getting any attrition. That's fine. Good. Good for them. We're still going along here at three speed, which is good. Uh, nobody messes by ten seventy two. 1872. So, um, sweet. So hopefully that'll be fast, because um, I really am worried about other countries coming and bothering us. Can we see if other countries have... Can we see if other countries have found it by looking here? Nope. That's dumb. Okay. Well, we're going to continue on doing this. Like they said, we can wait till here. Um, if nobody competes with us, that means we can just send, create a protectorate instantly, right? So I hope that's what happens. Uh, quality assurance. Okay, good. More factory. Good. Now hopefully we get back our colonial power. Currently invested. Okay, so if we, I bet you once that ha once we like get recoup our investment or whatever, it'll be like we'll have to do maintenance power, obviously, but we'll probably get a little bit, uh, most of it back, you know, in actual colonial power. So. We'll be able to do more, hopefully. Now maybe these areas along the coast are the best. I, I'm looking at just all these... What do they produce? You know, it looks like these guys produce a lot of grain and fruit. Fruit is what's this one. Uh, I'm going to see... Let's check out our RGO look, because there might actually be some worthwhile things here that we should be looking for and taking. Um, first of all, I'd like to see if there's any... You know, I know there's a lot of gold like in the um, Ghana, Mali, Songhai region. Or there should be, at least. I mean, just, you know, from my own history classes, I've learned. Oh, what's this thing here? Ooh, so, okay. Um, we've researched Raider Group. So we can now get up to level 3 um, things. Whatever. You know what I mean. So let's go for army, and we're going to get some... Uh... Actually, we should probably do some more industry, because I feel like we're falling a little bit behind. So steam turbine is going to help out our farmers. Now what's this? Tropical wood. Okay. Coal. That's what we want, but is that already taken? No. I believe we do have a thing here, so perhaps can we actually send? Is there one in range? Damn it! Infinite. Oh, crap, we need to build a naval base here. Let's do that. We can afford. And please tell me that's not going to take forever. Ugh, 75. God damn it. Oh well. Let's see. Let's invest in our projects here. Um. And we could probably do some foreign investment. How about in Holstein? Let's see what our position looks like in Holstein, because I bet you we probably have, like I bet you Prussia sphered it again or something stupid like that. Um We're at are we still at are we max again with Holstein? Yes. Okay, so let's decrease the opinion of Prussia. Now they're down to Cordial. How's Hanover? They're oh Hanover. Uh Prussia banned us. Also in Colombia, we got banned by the UK. It's fine if they. That's how they feel, I guess. Um, yeah. So, uh, goddamn British are here. International crisis. Oh God, what's happening again? At least they're not asking us yet. Okay. Um, so we can either lose Stige or s get an navy declares interest. Um, I'm definitely not going to lose 60 prestige. So, uh, let's. We're interested. Um, Prussia and Austria are in opposing sides. We're going to follow UK, obviously, so... Let's do that. Italy is strongly inclined to support Prussia. France is going to support Austria. So it looks like it's going to be the same deal again. Uh, France has gone for Austria. UK is probably going to go for Prussia. Can, is it, yes, it still says so. And what are we going to do? I guess we have to support... 
Prussia, but I'm just going to wait it out, you know, to see what happens with uh, England. Like, as soon as England picks, I'll go. But, long range fire tactic, cool. Come on, England, pick. Pick, damn you. I know, because if I pick Prussia, then it's going to be like, oh, lol, JK, we're going to actually pick the other one. Great military leader has died. Austria, they really are not going to be trying to do that. Okay, so I think we should just support Prussia from now, because I know that the UK is going to support us, so. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm going to be so pissed if they go that way, though. They shouldn't. They definitely shouldn't. Ooh, okay, now we can create a protectorate here. And I believe we can also do that here? No. It's, uh... I think we have to wait, like, 20 days or something. Alright, so how much colonial power do we have again? Awesome, we have a lot, so we can continue just going on down here. Hopefully we can cut off pretty much everybody from doing anything here. Since we got, I think we are the only ones who rushed machine guns and stuff. So let's see. Um, oh god, what the hell? Um, political reform, selected meetings not allowed, or um, the mud march. The Stockholm weather did the worst against us. Mud, mud, mud. It was potential prominent feature, and it was known among the S afterwards as the mud march. A female suffrage commented that the elements of during the mud march, a demonstration which just past week attracted over 3,000 women from various organizations, female textile workers, temperance advocates, artists, and many others, all coming together in a show for a force for women's liberation suffrage of, on Stockholm Street. A gay enough procession by most accounts, despite the weather. Okay, I guess they mean like, you know, happy, not, you know, gay. But anyway. Uh, we must express our cordial understanding and support for these sentiments, certainly. Uh, yes, let's see that. We, I definitely want to become more liberal because anything we become is going to take away from socialists, so. As long as we're not being more socialist, I'm cool. Now let's move our troops into here because I believe that'll help us with our colonization. Now how are we doing? I probably should have moved our troops here because that's probably where the best one would be. So let's do that. Um, like, I would think we have two more days until we can create a protectorate here. Now, let's see. Is it actually... Let's see. How does this colonial power work? Okay, good. It looks like we're only getting, like, seven power tied up in maintenance. As you see. That was, like, 20, actually, but still. If we take here... Let's see. What Can we look by region map mode? Which one is that? It's, like, the one that shows us uh, what's... Regions, 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 come on. Of course, it's like the first one if I didn't... Okay, so um, so if we take this, that's going to be a whole lot of stuff that the uh, Ottomans and stuff won't be able to touch. Or, well, at least we'll stop British Algeria from actually hurting anybody, or hurting us. So let's, let's do that here. 80 colonial power, good enough for me. Let's send our troops into there. They should be fine. Our boys... And we're also already claiming this one, so let's send these guys all the way down to Tetchit, where I'm assuming that's where the uh, thing is. Supply limit is 24 there, so how much? Okay. Let's actually send the, these guys as well. Um, ooh, we can create a colony in West Sahara. Um, good, I guess. Did that, did that really hurt us? I hope not. I think, I think that's not a good idea. I think I should rather, instead of uh, creating colonies, I should just have it be a, um... Oh, well. Oh, thank God. Okay, no no, no crisis war. Good. <laughs> that would have really cr made, me cr made me cry. <laughs> so I guess that's how colonial stuff works. That's fine, I guess. So nobody's going to probably bother with us until... 1873? Yeah, we could probably make it till there without getting bothered. Wow, this colonial game is going to be easy if we, if, since we got in so early, uh, we're probably going to be able to take over a good size, I mean, we already have a pretty sizable portion. Scandinavian Morocco is huge. I wonder how long it'll take till it says, like, Scandinavian Africa instead. I want to get, that's my goal, I guess, is to get at least that much, you know? So now that we can, let's build some more army here, we'll build some more guards in Europe. Actually, 
Yes, I want to cancel these two guards. Um, let's build some artillery, rather. Okay. Now, continuing on, of course, I hope we didn't actually waste our money on those units first. But, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll go up as soon as... Yeah, it's mostly our expenses that's really causing the economy to poop. But, um, yeah, so I think this is going very well, guys. Anyway, yeah, I think we're doing awesome. So... All these popula all this population now is going to be under our thumb. Let's see, has it increased that much? We're up to 2.26 million, so we were at 2.1. So along with our growth, obviously, but with these guys we just folded into our realm, I think this is really going to help. Anyway, uh, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Spray and pray out.